Welcome back to my garage. Sorry I haven't been uploading any videos lately. Um, bit of a long story, but uh, basically four months ago we got a new cat. And four days later we had five more little cats. <laughs> we weren't really counting on that. Uh, it was a lot of fun, but also a lot of work. So I uh, haven't been in the garage for almost three months. I also got another project. Uh, I bought an old Volvo, a PV444, a 53 model. Uh, it was a bit of a barn find. It had been donating parts to other cars, so I've been trying to piece it back together. And uh, the mini bike project, it uh, pretty much ground to a halt when the kittens came. So I, I still haven't fixed it. I actually just parked it for winter storage last week. Going to continue on that next spring, I guess. But I have some good news too. I'm back in business and I'm planning my winter projects. Uh, you can see one of them here. Um, first project, I don't have anything to show for that yet, but uh, I'm going to build a new chassis for the Olympic, or for the... that's going to replace the Olympic. Um, at this test last uh, spring, I discovered that uh, it's really the chassis is really bad, it's, the engine has too much power, and it's... Uh, and it's a waste of power because I can only be a um, full throttle like two seconds per lap or something because it has such bad handling and uh, bad brake. So I'm going to make something new that's hopefully going to be lighter and more stable and faster. So uh, going to start out with just uh, a tunnel and make my own uh, bulkhead in uh, aluminium, hopefully. I uh, ordered some uh, some sheets, so uh, and I made some drawings on the computer. So I have a basic idea of what it's going to look like, but I don't really have anything to show for it yet. So uh, I guess we'll get started on that later. When the when the sheets arrive. And then the second project is going to be this. Uh, I guess most of you probably saw the four cylinder engine that uh, took 132 tries to start. My friend's engine, Fortnite Smoper, go check out his channel. Uh, when he finally got it started, I decided I needed one of those two four cylinders. So uh, some of you may have seen these two engines sitting on the shelf behind the camera last in some of the videos. They have been waiting for uh, for this winter. So we're going to join them into a four-cylinder engine. And these two are uh, 1974 TNT 440 uh, free-air engines. I think they have a. Uh, 55 or 56 horsepower stock each. Once it's working, I'm first going to just go and try and get it working at all as a four cylinder, and then of course we're going to do some porting. So, uh, yeah, let me uh, show you what it looks like. So, I have three crankcases, and they're going to be in this order. I'm going to cut them up, uh, will be cut around here, and then this one will be cut around here, in the middle of the cylinder, somewhere. And then uh, I will cut this one and put the bit from the middle in between. That's the basic idea. Then I, of course, have to build a crank for it. It's gonna be a fun experiment. I am hoping to get it to work with 90 degree ignition. Not sure if that will work out, because most uh, seem to use 180 degree ignition, so the cylinder 1 and 3 and 2 and 4 are igniting at the same time. But uh, I want to try it with 90 first, so... <coughs> we'll see how that goes, I guess. So over here we have one crank in, in pieces. 
these are the outer webs. But there was a bit of a surprise, I didn't know it was like this. Uh, the center webs, they have half a stub each. And they are pressed into this lump of metal here, like that. Uh, the problem with that is, um, I can't weld it, because I, there's no way I can get at it to, to weld it, so... Not sure if that's going to work, but uh, I guess we'll find out. I, then I have another crank, which is uh, like a normal crank. Um, This one is of a newer, a newer model of the same engine, and it has, uh, as you can see, the, like a regular crank that I can just weld it here. So ideally, I would need three of these cranks because I need an extra crank to uh, make the, the coupling in the middle between the engines, or I, I just need these two center webs uh, really um, so yeah I, I'm really not sure yet how I'm going to uh, do this crank stuff but I think probably that I will uh, that I will uh, try to put a crank together from the parts that I have and then we'll see if it works or not but another alternative is uh, I have a crank from a Rotex 503, which has the same 61 millimeter stroke as the 440s. Uh, nothing fits from these cranks; it's uh, everything is too narrow on them. But uh, my plan is to maybe just cut the shafts off and drill the webs and put new shafts in that are the right length. But that seems like a lot of work really, um, so we'll, we'll see. But it may have to come to that. If I can't find uh, the right part or if the other idea doesn't work. Uh, I've ordered new connecting rods because I'm not that confident in my welding skills that I think the, everything is just going to stay together as this. So basically I will have a thick engine plate underneath the engine. And then I will have another plate that goes on top of the crankcase, between the crankcase and the cylinders. So uh, hopefully that will make sure that it's uh, all going to stay together. So I have to show you this. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this before. This bar is what I'm going to be using to uh, when I weld everything together, the crankcases. This uh, I ground it to exactly 62.00 millimeters, so I can just uh, clamp the crankcases around the bar. So uh, that should keep it from bending and twisting. Hopefully, while welding it, this is a solid steel shaft, so should be plenty strong. So uh, yep, now you know the plans for this winter. I'm going to start sewing this, I think as soon as I finish uh, shooting this bit of video. But that will, the sewing will be in the next video. I do have some uh, a video that we about my friend's engine that we shot in, uh, in the spring that I haven't edited yet. So uh, I'm going to try and uh, edit that this week maybe. Now you know what's going on and uh, what is gonna be going on 
the near future. So I guess that's it for now. Um, but there will be more video coming up soon. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.